guys welcome back to another video my name is grace if you're new to this channel um before we get started i wanted to apologize because i know i've been slacking quite a lot on this channel and now i'm back and so for the first video of 2019 i wanted to film something that's very personal to me but hopefully very helpful for some of you guys and by the title, you already know what this video is going to be about. And before we get started into my portfolio, I do want to, to say that all the works that I'm about to show you are all the works that I've done during the foundation year. So I did my foundation year at Central St. Martins. And a little bit of a background story about me. I got into foundation year as a textile specialist. Which also means that before then, a lot of my work concentrated in um, developing ideas for creating textiles and uh, making prints. Also learning how to um, build and um, tailor garments. But within three weeks of the foundation year, I realized that I was not really into the making of fashion, which I'm really grateful that foundation year made me realize that because if I was in BA course I was not able to change my course that easily um, eventually I ended up in graphic communication design after three weeks so on my fourth week I started um, graphic communication design and after that I ended up in fashion communication promotion class in the foundation year that course was under graphic communication design so you had to go through these stages before getting into um, the foundation year of fashion communication promotion. Currently I'm still studying at Central St. Martins on the BA course of fashion communication promotion. So this portfolio I use for all three of my interviews. I applied for obviously BA course of fashion communication promotion be a course of graphic communication design both at Central St. Martins and also the creative direction at London College of Fashion. I'm really grateful to say that I was able to get into all three of the courses and um, obviously I end up, up choosing the course that I'm in right now. So for this video I'm only going to show you two of my sketchbooks. Originally I have three sketchbooks with me but one of them is missing I believe I think it's missing because it was used during a foundation end of the year exhibition but I think during the transportation it was lost it might have been lost or it might still be with my foundation tutor I need to follow up on that but I haven't had time for the interviews of um, fashion communication promotion and creative direction course I used two sketchbooks and then for graphic communication design I had three sketchbooks along with I think 18 to 20 sheets of portfolio and I have a vlogging camera with me so you guys get to see a more close-up shot of my work yeah let's get started <laughs> So firstly, I'm going to show you my two sketchbooks and just a FYI, I want to make sure you guys know that your sketchbook is like your second brain and everyone has different brains. So how I work in my sketchbook might be very different from how you work from your sketchbook. So keep working in your own style and aesthetic. Uh, don't be confused. Um, what I'm about to show you is how I work. Even till today, the way I work in my sketchbooks are very different from how I used to work in my sketchbook. So these two sketchbooks is very, I guess, a little bit too organized for me. But um, I wanted to keep it that way only because I knew that other people will be looking at it, um, especially during the interviews. So I want to make sure that it's organized so they understand my process for each project and my thoughts but yeah let's get started so for the first book that i'm about to show you is my first book to my graphic communication design um i label down my start date and my end date 
of this course and after November I think I transferred into uh, fashion communication promotion class and I brought this book with me into the graphic communication design interview because obviously it will be relevant but I also brought in two sketchbooks along with me but the other one like I said is missing so I'll be showing you this one later on so I used this tracing paper as a divider for each project that I did so this was the first project that I did in graphic communication design So this is the second book to my fashion communication promotion sketchbook. Um, the other one is also has a black cover to it and it has the same label as the one that I showed you with the course title and the start date but because this is the second book I thought it was unnecessary to label it with the course title. This project it's probably my favorite out of all of the projects that I've ever done.
And that's all for my sketchbook. Next, we're moving on to the most exciting part, which is my actual portfolio. So these are my portfolio and all these sheets contain, I think around, I want to say 20 sheets maybe. And they're all A1 size and all my final outcomes are glued onto these paper. For this portfolio, it's in the same order that I used for the interview of fashion communication promotion and creative direction. For my graphic communication design interview, I had extra sheets. I would put these sheets, extra sheets on top because these are the works I did in graphic communication design. But in the interview for graphic communication design, I had to talk about one of my favorite work that I did and I talked about this one so this project like i talked about before this project was probably one of my favorite outcomes that i've ever done even up to today is my favorite everything about this publication is hand made and even the stitching here is stitched using a sewing machine and the printing, I bought paper and it printed off from my home printer. Well, another thing to keep in mind is to either keep all your portfolio portrait or landscape. Um, I kept mine mostly portrait, but I have images like these that has to be landscape that you can keep landscape. But I only have like four images in this pile of portfolio that are landscape and the rest are all por uh, portrait. And this is another project and for each project I have a little label um, with a description and the title of this project. And for this one um, are stills from a video. You can bring a laptop in and put it on play um, throughout the interview but sometimes it's better to have stills with you in case anything happens but I do have the link to the video here and this is another project I still have this account up if you want to go check it out um, it's just called my Asian face um, on Instagram and these are also stills from a video And this is my extra pile of portfolio for graphic communication design interview.
and that's everything that I use for my interviews each year they have different requirements from different courses for fashion communication promotion the tutor asked us to write an essay I think it was like 500 words or 300 words essay about one of your favorite designer and why you like their designs I chose Kansai Yamamoto and I wrote about him and his work and I just printed it out on a transparent sheet of paper and you know I was being extra I guess and I mounted it on an A1 paper and I put that sheet on top of my portfolio so they know that I've written an essay and it fulfilled their requirements um, so yeah I put that on top of the red publication that I made but for some reason I don't have that sheet I think I probably accidentally threw it away or lost it but yeah that was my first sheet um, along with the two sketchbook that I had like I said before make sure you keep in mind that each year they change the requirements for the courses you apply so make sure you keep up with that if you have questions make sure you address it to your tutors in foundation year but if you have other further questions you can also ask me in the comment down below I'm happy to help and if you want to see more videos like this either it is talking about my experience in foundation year or my tips on sketchbooks and interviews stuff like that just leave them down in the comment down below and I'll film it for you guys. But I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.